Hi guys, welcome back. I am here. I was a bit running around like an absolute loon. Box 21, can't wait to open. So I want to say thank you all for popping along. Who have we got in this morning? We've got a tease. Thank you for joining us. And we've got Eileen is back. You're an absolute trooper, absolute star. Let me know if you guys can hear me okay. So we're going to get this beauty finished today. I'm going to just change the angle a little bit. So yeah, we're going to get this one done. Book four. We've only got technically two bags left. So we've got bags 19, bags 20, and box 21. So yeah, we're getting there. I found my missing piece. I put it in the wrong place. So all good. We're only missing the gold stuff so I can get that sorted out. We've got Brixel Pixel, thank you for joining us. And we've also got Brick Clickers in the house, thank you for joining us. Right, so I'm going to get this bag open. I'm kind of running out of space, I don't know where to go. So I'll say we're in bag 19. And I've been itching to get this finished. So it is, uh, it's getting there. So I've got so many pieces. But yeah, how, how are you guys all this morning? Are you well? I know Eileen is saying that it's half past seven over in Canada, so it's got an early start. Hopefully I'm not killing you too much. <laughs> so, that's a bit crazy. We've also got Judy Smy. Thank you. For, uh, Judy. Jude Smile. Thank you for joining us. Shadow Wolf. I, do you not know? I know what's in. I know it's in there, but I don't want to spoil it for anyone until I get to that point. So hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, there'll be some other people that haven't seen it as well. Right? What am I doing? I need to find where I am. So I've not got many stickers left, which is quite nice, which is good. I need to move. I've got no space to do anything. I've got coffee. I've got drinks everywhere. Stickers, pieces. A lot, you name it. I need to move the mouse out of the way. Right, so I've got all these bits here, guys. Right, so we're on box 19. And we're going to be building this part that goes to Nocturne Alley. Got quite a few pieces here. Let's move bags 20 out of the way. Right, let's get building, guys. Let's do this. Yeah, anyway, so hope you guys are all, all good. That's how I've been itching to get this finished. Something magical. Oh, hello. So I'm dropping bits. I hope it's magical. I hope it's really magical. Like the missing pieces. That would be nice. <laughs> I've got a few random bits that seem to be missing. There's loads of spares in here, so it's not too bad. Guys, I've got two hours to finish this before my time is up on StreamYard. But I should be right. I might set an alarm. Alexa, set an alarm for two hours time. She's not listening to me. <laughs> Alexa, set a timer for two hours. Two hours, starting now. There you go. <laughs> right, she's set that time. Right, Brooks Pixel, have you seen the new Sesame Street leak figures? Yes, I have. And there may be somebody in the in the chat, Brook Clicker, who's put some of those up as well. They look really cool. It'd be really interesting to see what that set looks like can't wait so i don't know if i'm gonna buy it yet i'm not sure it depends on the price but fingers crossed we, we may be getting the designer back on the channel so that'd be cool so keep an eye on keep an eye on the channel see how it goes guys but uh yeah it's been a looks fairly fairly decent set it's gonna be quite big i think isn't it uh brick clicker it's gonna be quite a big set i think we're looking at I don't know, but I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> right, that's right. Yeah, I think we're looking at probably, what, 2,000 pieces, probably? It's going to be a big set. So it could be pretty cool. Got loads of masonry bricks in here. I am... This build has been really good. It's been epic. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about that, about the uh, her who shall not be named set an alarm on yours. So at least she sets it everywhere. That's quite cool. <laughs> We've got Brickman's in the house. Hello, mate. Thank you for joining us again. 
it's been an absolute trooper it's been really cool seeing all you guys popping in joining me on this journey of building this absolute beast of a set it is massive and i've got a shelf ready for it so i know where it's going to go well i know where it's going to go on a shelf but i don't know if i'm going to put it behind me above the tv or over the other side i'm not sure yet yeah it's def definitely not going to be a cheap one is it who knows we'll find out hopefully soon it'd be pretty cool see what's going on with it all right so this is a little is it like a wonky window so this is a wonky window i think i'm building here so it looks quite quite a decent thing hopefully but that's probably only gray yeah it's not much gray in this set it's all nice pinks and purples and some random colors that are probably going to be quite expensive talking about expensive pieces i looked on bricklink for these purple uh, masonry pieces anybody want to have a guess how much these are worth so pop in a comment what do you reckon how much that's worth or how much they sell for i should say i've had a look i know what they are and i was quite shocked <laughs> to say the least but it's gonna be uh if it gets parted out you can imagine how how many different pieces are gonna sell on it but i wouldn't want to part a set this like this out it's crazy big 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 piece and while you guys are on it i don't know if you saw my lego ideas set has been approved for voting so if you want to check that out it's a vr arcade like a modular building fingers crossed you know might get there might get a few if i get if i get a thousand votes i'll be happy <laughs> i'm not too fussed just a bit of fun end of the day just something to add to the to the lego building so at five as in five dollars then <laughs> bricks look say 20. yeah they only, they only do come in this set and we've got the brick masters in thank you for joining us yeah it's not as much as that but it's 50p for one of these and there's 20 in a pack so if you wanted to change them for single ones, I don't know, but it's a really weird colour, that lilac. It's quite nice. I like the colour. I quite like this, the whole building orange and lilac's quite nice. Definitely makes a change for what we normally see. I think if you've done it any other way, it'd probably be quite a brave decision to do that. So Brickmaster is saying, how long do you think it's going to take to finish? I've only got two bags and the box. So... Maybe an hour and a half. I'm not going to be on for six and a half hours. <laughs> not again. <laughs> not for a long time. But uh, I'm going to get kicked off before uh, after two and a bit hours because I've not got a lot of time left on my uh, stream yard. I don't pay for streaming, uh, but I might need to. Yeah, I've, we've, I find that some things do tend to lag behind a little bit i think i was lagging it the other day as well which wasn't wasn't good so barracuda parts have for six that, that is crazy i need to start buying sets and parting them out <laughs> but then i ain't got time for that that's you need a lot of dedication and a lot of time to be parting stuff out especially if you've got like a bricklink account that's supposed to be pretty awkward I can't pick yeah so whoever's with me the other day i said i had a couple of pieces missing i had a window piece missing i didn't i put it in the wrong place so where his arm goes in that should be hollow so the the ball bit pops in i didn't i didn't pay attention and yes yeah, so i haven't got that piece missing which is nice but saying that <laughs> there you go these little clear windows that are a pain because they're so flat and tiny but yeah i can't see it taking too long to finish this but yeah i wanted to finish this with you guys so you get to see the end result uh right what am i looking for so i've got told you these glass pieces are a pain because you can't see them and they get 
to get muddled up. I need to find one more. 11.40. Crikey. You should be going to bed soon, mate. Yeah. This is the coolest. Set. It is. Brent Master is amazing. The build has been really good. There's so much detail. There's loads of unique pieces in it. Colours. Uh, I think I jinxed myself. I can't see that clear window. So I'm going to have to move one of these around. So if I do find it in a minute, I can put it separately. But before I do that, I'm going to check the bag because it may, oh, there it is. <laughs> so it may be hidden in here. So yeah, in that bag. Couldn't find it. Got it. Best thing to do is when you're building large sets, always check your bags before you throw them away. I don't throw bags away because I'm, I'm a bit strange. <laughs> I like to keep, I like to keep all the plastic bags. My way of saving the planet, I think. Yeah, so what's everyone up to? Doing anything nice? I know some of you are probably having breakfast, lunch, dinner even. Uh, right, what am I looking for? That one. So this is like a little lopsided window that we're building it. Here you've got Hawk Hawk. Oh, Connie, uh, you might have... Need a sandwich until you finish. Oh, I'm all right, mate. <laughs> I've just had a, had a bagel, so I'm all good. Um, and we've got Lego Dad UK's in. Oh, I went to click it. Thanks for joining, mate. I'll see you on uh, on YouTube. Uh, not YouTube, Instagram. I've seen your pages. You've got some really cool stuff going on. So, guys, check out Lego Dad UK on there. He's got some brilliant stuff. Right, where am I up to? Yeah, so I should get this finished quite easily. It'd be nice to get it done because it's, it's an amazing set. Really cool. And the good thing is I won't leave you all here for six hours. <laughs> That'd be too bad. So that's a little wonky window. So it kind of like slots in and then clips there, which is quite cool. I think Lego Dad UK, I'm sure you've have you built this, haven't you? What were your thoughts on the set? Uh, right, where's that going? So I've got confused then. <laughs> I get confused easily with, with big sets. You go to that, literally just slots into that side there. That's quite cool. Go to buy paint. What, what paint? Redo the apartment. It's always good paint. Oh. I don't mind painting. I've got loads of stickers now, guys. 234. This is like... Put these on here. Tiny little stickers. I like little lollipops that we're making. And we've got Mike Van der Graaffs in. Thanks for joining us again. This is the last stream. Be pleased to know that this one should be done today. It's going to be a big old set. And the last one there. I don't like little, little stickers, they're a pain. Well, I'll put them on the one, wrong way. The manual says that I don't care, they're only little stickers. Right, so that goes into this little bowl. Let's spin that around. In the corner. There's so many little pieces to this. This bit of the build is absolutely mad. There's just loads of little pieces everywhere. Uh, well, behind normally rush building, but taking time. This one only four bags, and yeah, it's really good. It's, when you get to this building, the amount of detail in this, the windows, and all of that in there is just unreal. It's just crazy. So time consuming. Connie asking, <laughs> you got your dogs around? Yeah, they're somewhere. Where are they? Uh, Pip's in her bed down there. I don't know where Chloe is. Mm -hmm. I'll close her. Oh, she's in the lounge. <laughs> Probably asleep. Bless her. 
But yeah, they're always with me. Right, where I'm up to. What are you making? Toast. Ooh. I'm alright. I've had something. <laughs> what? I said I'm alright. I've had something. That was awesome. Oh, not very nice. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a really good set. There's loads to it. If you like stickers, you're going to love it. I hate stickers. So just too many. So I've got these little stickers that make... This next bit is all these... I don't know if you can see them. Really small. So these weird little stickers that are... Fred Weasley's Basic Blaze Box. Fireworks, probably. I'd assume that's what it sounds like. But yeah, I'm a bit more awake today because uh, obviously when I started finishing the build the other day, I was a little bit tired. And, uh, it got quite late. <laughs> it's been a, uh, it's been good though. Oh, we got that. Right, let me just chuck that on there. I've got the Ghost Plus HG. I did the same and took my time and enjoyed the build more so. I thought I did. It is, you know, the thing is, uh, I think I wanted to do this with, with a load of people just so they could see what the set is because it's an expensive set. It's quite nice to be able to share it, I think. Um, and I, I don't feel like I've been rushing, I've just been sort of doing a few hours longer than I thought. <laughs> and the Razor Crest, no, that is tomorrow. On a Hobbies channel. Yes, I have the Batmobile, Batwing. That uh, Batwing. Um, haven't really seen much for it yet, have we? But it looks cool. The problem is they're going to do a promo with it. I know that. And it's probably going to be a promo of a smaller Batwing. So I think that's the thing that's going to be. Yeah, a little bit annoying. I don't know. Do you reckon? I think it's gonna be more than the Batwing, uh, the Batmobile. Sorry, but it depends how many pieces. I've seen rumours about the same price. I've seen. I've now heard rumours there might be three mini figs. There might be just the one. So I don't know. We we'll have to see see what it goes. I hope the price set doesn't go up so much, so I can hopefully build buy in the future. Yeah. Yeah. I, do you know what I think? I think this one's gonna go up in price. I think it will do. It's one of those ones that probably shouldn't have built, but <laughs> it's it's fun. I'm gonna have it on display, so it's definitely definitely worth it. And the problem is, is it now gonna get me into into modulars? Um, yeah, probably. I don't want it to because I know some of those are expensive. And it's just trying to find where I can get them built. You know, I got well confused then. <laughs> well, apparently, this should be. Uh, that's what I've done wrong. Uh, what's that? I've been building Assembly Square for over a week. Yeah. It's, it has a big set and it looks really cool. So, that'd be one definitely I'm going to keep an eye out for. I know it's retired. Is it retired now, Bricklicker? Or is it going to be retired? So that's, that's the problem when they retire those sets. So like the Diner, that's only £130, but that's retiring. And that price is definitely going to go up. I don't know what to, but it will go up. I think so, Connie. <laughs> I think I will need separate insurance. Now, good thing is I've already asked them, and they kind of said you don't need separate insurance as long as you they're individual items. That's quite cool. Little stack of boxes. And that goes in there. Yeah, I think I need to ease up on the buying though, because it's just it's crazy. So, Dino's retiring this year. Oh, okay, Assembly Square is 2021. Yeah, I suppose, because it's sold out really quick, isn't it? It's been hard to get hold of. Yeah, I think you need to. You need to grab that diner, definitely. 
right i need to make some banisters quite cool using little cone pieces to make the banisters along here so i've got to get the right colors in the right order orange connie if uh if the wife uh, the wife if sylvia's watching hello uh say hello to her and brixel power is at uh, brixel pixel powers in thank you for joining us got a few people in the stream got 11 people watching so let's hopefully get this done for you guys so you can see what the end result is i'm definitely going to do a review on the channel so keep an eye out for that i've got a cool video coming tomorrow but uh i challenged myself to build a poly bag inside a poly bag without splitting it and without it being open i gotta say it was hard <laughs> it took took about half an hour i think to do that but it was uh it was cool it was fun but the bag looks a bit worse for wear now but i like this piece this is really colorful Stickers are anything I don't like about that set. There are too many. Yeah. Do you know what? There is four sheets of stickers. So you've got a sheet for each. This is sheet D. And Silver's at work, so he's enjoying the silent. With the cat. <laughs> right, that's that. It's always good to get a bit of silent. Was that brown? Do you know, sometimes there's some colours on there. You can't tell what colour they are. That. Yeah. Cool. Especially the brown, you get the browns in the dark in the diaries in the instructions. It's a uh, bit of a pain. You can't see, like you can't see which ones go where. I think that's black. Yeah. I go in there. Yep, that way. Some banisters. That's quite cool. Some sweeties. All right, we've got some some of the old gem pieces in there. These are quite, can't really see that a bit. I need to get a camera that um, focuses, really. Look, Kai's Monkey. Hello, mate. Thank you for joining us. He's popping along. Thank you for joining us. I'll say we are getting there. We'll have this one built today. And then I might do a little, get it up on the wall sometime this week. I've got a new shelf for it. It's going to need a whole shelf all on its own because <laughs> it's it is massive. But yeah, we are good. How are you doing? Are you, are you doing all right? All right, we've got more of these little shelves that we're building. So there's so many pieces in these last two bags. It's unreal. But it looks pretty cool. More like random boxes. I'll tell you what, if you need something for for doing doing some mocks and you need some multi colours and different colours, get this set. Because <laughs> there's so many different colours in it. Oh, I'm sorry, I confused myself what I was doing then. Right, that goes now. I've got another sticker. Sticker number 38. I need double stickers. I hate doing stickers. Do you know, the funny thing is, if this was a plus four range, it would be a, a sticker on there. It would be no stickers at all, but can't help it. Right, that can go on there. No, there. So they're not going to be able to move around in that shop at all. Building two private drive houses using home bricks to make an English street. That would be really cool. You have to do a video on that, mate. We'll definitely, uh, definitely check it out. I like all those sort of things. Um, I haven't got the room for it to do like a city, but I'd love to do a city. I think that'd be pretty awesome. All right, I'm, what are we half an hour in? It's not too bad. I've nearly finished this bag. And I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll do a little uh, a little show of everything that's been built, so we can at least see what we built over the last couple of streams getting this done. 
I'll say it's been a it's been a long one. <laughs> it's been definitely been long. <laughs> Can you imagine a, a junior diagonally? It'd be like I don't know, it could be a Duplo one. <laughs> it's a bit weird because the Cray Expert building here yeah, have prints and this set is more expensive than no prints. Yeah, it, it's strange. It's like the only thing that's printed are the minifigs. I don't think I've seen any new sort of bricks that are printed. Uh I suppose is it easier for them to get it produced? I don't know. But I would love to have seen printed boxes and pieces. That'd have been absolutely awesome. Probably have been stupidly expensive. Right, I'm gonna spin this round. Right, so that goes in there. So this is amazing because everything kind of locks in. So if you want to move it around, you have to take the whole top off to do that, which can be a bit of a pain. So no, I'm actually really growing to like this lilac colour. I think it's quite nice. I think it's a lot more lilac in the French sets, isn't it? So we've got a lot left to build. I'm not gonna be upset when it's finished because <laughs> it's, it's been quite good. It's been fun. But finally got to the roof. Yeah, um, Ali makes a good, really good point there. Shame you couldn't buy him separately. I think that would have been awesome. Maybe buy him four, and then you could just what, build it in your own time. Obviously, it'd be cheaper as well. I think that's why I've done it, because they saw that all us AFOLs wanted to get this set pretty much straight away. So they've gone, do you know what? We're just going to put it all in one box, have one massive set. But, yeah, they could have done it like that. I think we're going to have Gringotts Bank next. I think that's definitely going to have to come out because it's, it's going to go with all this. So now I've bought this, I've got to have to buy that as well. What are your guys' thoughts? Do you think they're going to do Gringotts? And maybe a leaky cauldron would be quite cool. That would be pretty good. Get one of those as well. I think, unfortunately, it's going to open it up for the lot but i will buy them because i've got this i will buy them try and get them all displayed to be absolutely brilliant all right so no wrong so look i'll keep doing this i pick things up and i don't pay attention to the instructions and that's that's why i do things wrong <laughs> i'm too eager to get it done But there you go. All right, that is on there. So I've got a tickly nose this morning. Got Geek Girl Bricks, thank you for popping in. Looks like you're almost like I'm, I'm getting there. I've got this little pile left there, one more bag, and then number 21. Yeah, break out of Gringos maybe with a. Oh, that'd be awesome. Especially if you get it on the top. That, that'd be absolutely amazing. But yeah, we'll have to see what see what comes out. Of. They've probably got it all in the pipeline already because you know what, you know what um, Lego are like. That would be absolutely amazing. Yeah, they're probably they got a whole team, haven't they, in uh, in Billund that have been working on the Harry Potter stuff. So they've probably already discussed that, and they've yeah, it's already already on the pipeline, which would be pretty cool. I need to get a job there because I'm going to run out of money. <laughs> I've just seen a notification from a new subscriber, Lego Dad UK. Thank you for subscribing. Really appreciate it. And I'm, I'm sure you did you share my Lego ideas on Instagram. I'm sure you did. Um, if you did, thank you very much. It's been, it's been in, the, in the making for a little while because it's just... I haven't really had time to do it and it's uh it's quite good i like using the studio Does anyone else use studio or anything but yeah i, I like that because it's, it's different 
I've got a few more other do- ideas running around in my head. Don't know what I'm going to do yet with it, though. I think I need to get a new laptop before I do anything else. <laughs> <'Cause> it's, uh, <laughs> it's not great. It doesn't like it when I use that program. Right. Let's get those on. I quite like the banners in this. I don't really remember it from the movie. I'll have to have a look at that. But you've got like these multicolored cones used for the banisters, which is quite cool. Can't really see what that's showing me on there. That's the only thing I don't like about these instructions. Look at these bits here. Do you know what? That is a good idea. You need to link your ideas to your about page. Yeah, I'll do that. I didn't, didn't even think about that. Thank you for the heads up on that. I'll definitely get that done. I must leave a break as I am. Uh, no problem. Thank you very much. Thanks for popping in again, Mike. Really appreciate it. And um, we've got Cabbage Face Lego is in. Thank you for coming along. I say we should get this one done today. If I can find the right piece. There you go. So I'm just building the, uh, building the banisters and the stairs, which looks quite cool. But I hate these dark brown here. You, know, you can't see it. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself there. <laughs> Keep doing it. Yeah, I'll definitely add that on there. Is that how that goes? Yeah. That's quite cool. And then, so you make that, that pops into there. It kind of just sits on like a banister. Nice for the time. Then. Yeah, definitely Hallows film with Green Cox Dragon. Yeah. Oh, thank you, mate. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure you shared it. That's what I was like. I'm sure he did, but I really appreciate that. I say, check out his Instagram. He does some really cool stuff, and that uh, that mashup was really cool. I didn't really realize what it was when I first saw it, and then I looked into it properly. Yeah, mad. There you go. That is in there. This that crazy. Look at, I'm going to show you this quickly, guys. Look at that. That is. <laughs> That's just unreal. Well, no, I need not go on the floor then. <laughs> you know, there's so much detail in this set. Get excited doing this. Well, if I put the piece in the right place. So, is there any anything that you guys would like to see done by Lego? Any different themes that they haven't done? So there's some, some good ones that we could probably have, but it's all about the licensing, isn't it? See what see what they can build and what they'll let you sort of design. There's some really cool stuff that's a bit uh probably a bit too graphical for for Lego really. Where am I? I'm on it. But yeah, you never know. Never know what we can see in the future. Cool, we've got standalone Brooks is in. Thank you for joining us. He's uh, over in America. So it's morning. I don't know what time it is over there. And very cool. Yeah, there's just there's so many colours in this bit. It's absolutely mad. Did you mess up again? No. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> so Buffy Vampire Slayer also I think they're, they're in contact with whoever owns the license. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? It's weird, though, because they say they don't like violence, but they'll let you do that sort of thing. So it'd be cool. And a Toronto skyline. Do you... Uh, Eileen, do you own... Is it Eileen or Aileen? Eileen, do you own many of the modular... Not modular. What are they called? Architecture sets. I haven't got any at the moment. Um, but some of them look really cool. Like really cool little small bit Small builds? Small builds. I really need to learn to speak English again. <laughs> Get too excited, I think. But there's, yeah, like I say, there's so many different things that could be done. Right, so I was just, uh, I was jumping ahead of myself like I normally do. Larger version of DeLorean. I think, isn't that rumoured? I don't know if, um, 
I don't know if Bricklickers in, but I'm sure there's a rumour of the DeLorean being done. And I don't know if you've seen. I can't think what he's called. He does loads of Batman stuff. Um, on Instagram, fly, fly, Lego. Fl- I can't remember what it is now, but he does some really cool bit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's done did London because it was there yeah, two years ago. Yeah, that one looks really cool. And yeah, I can't speak English. <laughs> Star Trek. Or Netflix Lost in Space. Yeah, Lost in Space would be cool. Star Trek, if they'd done that, there's so much they can do. And Ecto 1 is coming. Yeah, that's, that's going to be Mustang size, isn't it? So about that big, hopefully. So that'd be, a, that'd be an interesting one to see. That's that? just sitting there. That's really strange. That just sits in there, doesn't even clip in. Hunger Games, yeah. Yeah, you know, there's so much that can be done. It's whether, like, say, we get a license for it or not. Ah, right. So, like, I keep doing, I keep doing stuff without looking at what I'm doing. I forgot to put the little arms that clip it together. And then that's it. Let him fly, Lego. That's the one. Yeah, yeah. That DeLorean build is absolutely awesome. I, I love it. I think it's so good. Right, clip that in there. there you go. That's it. That's better. Holds in now. All right, we've got the daily brickers in. Hello, mate. Thank you for joining us. We're nearly finished the diagon alley. Nearly there. So I've got to get this finished in today's stream. I've got about an hour and forty minutes left before I get kicked off. <laughs> Depending on what happens. But yeah, we should be should be good to get it done. I'm going to confuse myself. I was saying, uh, Lex, Daily Brick, there's these really cool masonry pieces only come in this set in this lilac colour. I keep banging on about them, but they're really cool. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying this building. It's, it's so fiddly, but it's really good. Hello. Right in there. All right. <laughs> I think my coffee's getting cold now. Right, let's get that on. I say it's so. Well, that don't go on there, does it? How does that work? Oh. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not reading the instructions right, so that's going to go on to there. There's little archways at the top. I don't know what goes on this top here. I think it's just a part of the building to build the roof up. Lex, are you going to be saving up for this set? So it's definitely worth it, worth the money. All right, I'll go in the middle. It's got some really cool techniques. I'll right, start. Yeah, get the burrow done. Yeah, definitely. I, I want to see that. And yes, I've got the great hall. Hopefully, that might be maybe another live stream um for building across the pond so not this sat, uh, sunday maybe next sunday and we've got bricks in thank you for joining us let's get this corner done here all right Make sure I'm getting this done right. <laughs> like a race against the clock to get this done. Not many pieces left in these bags. 
Great Hall is a good build. Yeah, see, I, I need to get that one done. It's it's waiting. How many um how many minifigs come in that set? Is it like eight or nine? And I'm sure you get a nearly headless Nick with that set as well, which looks pretty cool. Yeah, give us give us a shout for that one, and we'll uh we'll see what we can do. Right. right into there. So much detail in this. I just hope I haven't missed anything. <laughs> All right, so what we're we building now. So I'm going to spin this round to there. And I've got some spare gold pieces. I can probably use later on. These are quite cool. They're like little balls, balloons. I don't know what they're called. And you get some gold flower pieces. I, think I nearly broke that then. <laughs> Push it too hard. Black one, which needs gold one. All right, so we've just built like a bunch of balloons. I think there's a bunch of balloons. And then that goes. On there like that. I assume it's a bunch of balloons. I don't know. That confused me then. <laughs> I've got to do another balloon, which I forgot to put in. So it's me getting ahead of myself again. Not floor I want. Let's take it off. There you go. Stream their balloons. Get on. <laughs> right, that's that bit. We've got some more stairs to do. Or banisters. Anyone building anything now? Or are you just having breakfast and stuff? Right, so that goes up here somewhere. Excuse me, right at the end there, sweet. So not gonna fall off the edge. <laughs> right, so the build for building across the pond is I'll just pop it in the text as well. It's the awesome razor crest. That's tomorrow's build. That should be should be quite good. Can't wait. I think it's just just over a thousand pieces. So I love I love these little lanterns that they do. You've got little paintbrush or paint rollers that they go in, and then they just clip into there. Right, and that is bag 19 done. I'm just going to get my spare part because I left my spare part over there. Ow, that's my knee. Right, there's my spare part. That is a lot of spares. <laughs> it's like a Almost a mosaic come out for that. Yeah, it's a really good, really good set. Well, it looks good anyway. So it'd be interesting to see. It'd be interesting to see what it what it's like. So this is the final bag, guys. So 
So let's get these out. And I think I'm missing a minifigure, which is a bit strange. I wonder where it could be. <laughs> Bag 20 guys, this is the last, the last one. And we're gonna start off with a nice sticker. <coughs> Bless you. Bless you. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yes, I'm gonna show you the missing the missing window. So the missing window. There. So basically the arm goes into that missing piece there. But oh, keep hitting it. <laughs> right there, I put a window where it wasn't needed. Oh. Yeah, so I better put it in the wrong place. Keep you photographing. <laughs> yeah, so it's just me not paying not paying attention to the build and just yeah, missing things. An advert for Mac makeup. Should read the comments. I'll have a look later. All right, uh, we've got a couple of questions here. Do I have a favourite theme? Do you like to build? You may be able to tell. Mechs. I, I really enjoy the building mechs. So yeah, that that is probably probably my favourite film uh, theme. But now I'm starting to do modulars or well, this is technically a modular i'm kind of uh i don't want to get into building modulars but i'm having loads of fun doing this so yeah it'd be interesting to see see where it goes but yeah mechs are my number one and yeah the arms stick out oh, cat bio thanks for joining us <laughs> yeah the wife was um taking a screenshot so i was just asking her what she was doing <laughs> Right, let's uh, see what we need next. Standalone. If you if you need me to type anything, just let me know and I'll type it. All right, it's so got some nice lime green colours. Yeah, I I need to have a look at that that diner. It looks really cool. I like all the colours. You know, I, di I didn't know that we had these little micro figures in here. Didn't know that, the little statues. <laughs> it's probably <weird. laughs> she's She's watching a girly film, so she's watching a chick flick. Right. Um, do you know, that's, I did not know that would be in here either. I don't know if you guys can see this. There's a little, hang on, I'm going to change my camera a little bit so you can see what this is. So these are, you get these in the space sets. So you get the little gem rocks. Oi, a bit blurry there. Hello? <laughs> there you go. Cool. I went a bit blurry then. Yeah, it's weird. I'll be, I'll be back in a bit of still building, but got a few things. No problem, Brooks. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, these gem pieces. 
Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, and you put I didn't know there was no, I didn't didn't have a clue. So it's strange. I don't know what it's got to do with it. It's going on a little bench. And we've got 39. We've got a little sticker that just says wizard on it, so I don't know. It just says wizard. So I'm not sure on that. I've just seen a notification as well. I've got uh, Geek Girl Bricks subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. If you're still here, thank you. Really appreciate it. So I've got my uh, got my giveaway still to be still to be done. Got about another hundred subs to do. Yeah, I think cat I think it's literally just on the table there. So whether it's meant to represent something in the film, I don't know. All right, more stickers. I need some orange bricks. Well, these are quite cool, actually. These little, so these little stickers that I'm doing at the moment. If I can get it on there properly without making a bodge job of it. So, Wizard Wheezes. So, basically, their name is Wizard Wheezes. And actually, the stickers spell out Wizard Wheezes. <laughs> Can't you need to keep keep the cat away? <laughs> Cats for some reason they love Lego bricks and Lego boxes, and I'm glad that my cat is at my mum and dad's all the time because the wife's allergic to them. She uh, she can't she can have dogs, not cats. So I live with my parents, but it's got the uh, it's got the life of Riley there. There you go. So that. Here's another little micro build and that goes up there. Right, let's get these built. There's so many different purples and stuff in this. Absolutely crazy. Back up 5842 for my first giveaway. Um what are you what's your what is your giveaway? Have you decided? Have you decided what you're going to give away? I find even though even though I put the the battle pack as a giveaway, it's still been it's been quite hard to get subscribers. I think I need to promote the video again just to get some more people onto it. But I want people to be like you guys. I want you, you know to be loyal and popping on and watching streams and chatting. A time to go for the prize and not win then leave because there's no point in following but that's all good we'll all have fun that's the main thing or right, i've just built a stack of boxes or something i don't know what that's going to be where's that go there cool all right that's that one hopefully i won't leave pieces or miss pieces like i've been doing <laughs> the last few bags get excited and miss bits i can't believe it's uh nearly a week done there's people planning to give away multiple musket yeah i keep seeing all those um but it's yes yeah, it's a bit of a pain the Le lego store set 40305 i think i've seen it on your on your video it's a little Sort of micro store, isn't it? That looks really cool. So, guys, check out Standalone's channel if you if you haven't already. I don't mind promoting people's channels. If you want to promote it, just let me know. I'm not I'm not too too fussed about doing. It. I don't mind. Got to help each other out, haven't we? Excuse me. Right. I find a three by one black black plate in here. Can't find it. There you go. Hiding. Yeah, I've I don't even think I've seen that set anywhere. So it'd be interesting to see if I can find it. Oh, so so many. There's so much out at the moment. It's crazy. 
Yeah, it's, like I say, it's getting time to do things, isn't it? I think a few people have been off for the whole time, haven't they, since like things like lockdown. I think I had three weeks off. Some people I know didn't have any time off. It's, yeah, it's definitely been a little bit, a little bit strange. I noticed the leg ideas have slowed down a little bit. Just as people return to normal everyday life. And this might be my normal day life, I don't know. <laughs> See how it goes, have a bit of fun, that's the main thing, isn't it? I think as long as we're having fun doing this and meeting people and chatting, it's all good. But I'm really looking forward to building that Fraser Crest. It looks really cool. I've got so much Lego lying around the place. It's just unreal. Right, there's a little, another little micro build that goes in there. I don't know what they're meant to be. I'll have to look at the... Uh, I'll have to watch the film, see what it is. Yeah, can, let me have a look while, while I'm here. Let's see if I can get the Lego ideas up. And If my laptop crashes, you know why. <laughs> It'll be like, nope, don't like it. All right, so that goes in there. Okay, so that's what these... So these little micro statues or figures or whatever they are, they go in here at the top. Uh, tiny, so small, can't get my fingers in there. There you go. And by the looks of it, they get a spare one. <laughs> so they're quite funny little ones. But just build it, he's popped in. Thank you for see, seeing you. I'm kind of. Thank you for joining. <laughs> right, let's see if I can find my idea. If anyone wants to look at it, I don't know if it'll, will it link properly? I'm not sure. I've got 48 uh, supporters so far. When I get to 100, I get another 12 months of support. Right, so let's copy that. All right, see if this works, guys. If it crashes, then there you go. I don't know if you guys can click that. That is the link. <laughs> it doesn't look like much, does it? It's just a link. But there you go. Bought the Lego store on his road trip. Oh, yeah, he did, didn't he? Yeah, yeah did see that on there as well so yeah that'd be really cool yeah it's something that's not really not appealed to me as of yet but when you see things in the flesh it kind of uh does all right is that oh it works brilliant so that link works then so yeah if anyone hasn't subscribed have a little have a little click on that I'll give you permission to disappear for a minute <laughs> if i can you can do whatever you guys need not a problem I'd never moan if you if you left this uh it's your own time. Oh. Well like I say I really appreciate it. I've had uh it's been a good a good few streams. Really enjoyable. Loads done loads. I think I've had a few absolute troopers. Lane's been in for the whole thing. Well, Eileen, I keep saying Lane, but it's it's Eileen, isn't it? Right, that one. Yeah, it's good. Not doing too bad though. We've got eleven people in the chat. If you're there, have a, say hello if you if you want. Any plugs? If you want to plug anything, I'm happy with that as well. But this one is definitely so, so many fiddly bits in this piece. I'm building an arm as for this. I've got what we're building for there. Mm -hmm. I think that's probably my worst colour. Is this dark, this dark brown colour is really awkward because it's really awkward to see it in the in the instructions as well. Which sure I don't know what I'm looking for. Is that a three, a three by one. This one, I finally got a piece missing again. Have I got a bit missing again? Probably. <laughs> I 
There it is, hiding. Yeah, so any, any support, I really appreciate it. Uh, so that's my first one that's been approved. I had one that was on there before, but it never got approved, which was a bit of a pain because it was, you probably heard of the idea. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Kai's Monkey, for supporting. Thank you very much. Um, you've heard of the program Cheers. I did a set for that, like a studio kind of set, but a little bit larger than micro figure scale because I wanted to get all the detail in. And it, it got declined because it's to do with alcohol in present day situation, which technically it's not because it's a program and it was like back in like the 90s. But yeah, they said no. So it's a bit annoying because it took me ages to get it done. But then again, it does help, you know, get the practice in really. Right, so that's the little banisters done there. I think I would have been quite a cool design if, it, if they would let me put it through, but no, they didn't. All right. Oh, what am I doing? So I'm getting, so I'm getting ahead of myself. I was going to put that on there, but there's no little pieces. So I keep forgetting to do these, right? So it reminds me of, like sweets because <laughs> they're so tiny, colourful as well. I suppose it probably doesn't really matter what colour you order you do them in. But I'm going to stick to the plan. Green. Purple. Orange. Green. That's going to be no... No wizards are going to be falling down these stairs anytime soon, are they? <laughs> yeah. Look at that. That is absolutely amazing. Yeah, so it's, it's strange, isn't it? So they didn't approve it. Is that because it was vampires and violent? That's probably, I bet that's what they said. Or they got something in the uh, in the pipeline. The rat two ideas looks really good. Yeah. Do you know, what? I don't think that's going to make it. I think the only reason I think that is because I think they've already got it in plans to make as their own set and not an ideas set. That's that's my thoughts anyway. Which, if we get it either way, it'd be nice, but it'd be pretty better if it goes through the ideas program because it's, you know, it's pretty quite nice to be nice to be recognised that way. But we'll have to uh, we'll have to see what it what happens. Just one more supporter till fifty. Yeah, I can get there. I want to get. Like I said, I want to get that hundred. As soon as I get that hundred, I can relax a little bit. I don't want to spam people too much but i'm going to start spamming it soon i think because i only put it on yesterday so i haven't really i haven't really uh promoted it yet so i'm definitely going to promote it a bit more and uh i don't know lex if you're on here so i think i've just seen you pop in would you like to support my idea for lego ideas this there's a link just up above that'd be brilliant if you could it's a vr arcade modular building yeah so this is your va uh, buffy the vampire i was told it didn't meet requirements for various versions but violence and adult theme yeah i know it, it's strange star wars okay because it's it's money in it they, they know they're gonna make a lot of money out of star wars it's uh yeah it's odd I say, but I can't have alcohol in it because uh, apparently it has to do with drinking. I don't drink myself personally, so. It's going to be a good set. That, that uh, Sesame Street, or as I'm sure Bricklicker, didn't you say how, I've said it all the time as well, Sesame Seed, and then you're like, no, it's not seed, it's street. <laughs> Can you tell me how to get to Sesame Seed? <laughs> I always do that because it's, the first thing with sesame is seed that pops into your head. I always end up saying it. Right, so that goes on there. So this is really good. This is so this building's gonna be even bigger than the last building by the looks of it. 
but yeah, it's absolutely mad. Now, as long as I'm making sure I'm doing the building right, I should be all right. But you know what I'm like, guys. You've seen what I'm doing. I I miss things and I forget about things. <laughs> I really should do this and get the pieces to one side so I don't forget what I'm doing or don't get ahead of myself. Right, so that goes on there. <laughs> oh, nice sesame seed bun. Do you know, McDonald's. I'll go fill a car up later, so I might have to... Uh, I might get a McDonald's later. I think the wife would definitely be up for that. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> Put that in my head now. Got to get, got to get a McDonald's. And I've been streaming for an hour, so I've got enough time to finish this build, I believe, because this is the last bag. Hey, we've got 50th supporter. Thank you. I really appreciate it. It'd be interesting to see how it goes. What do you guys actually think of it? Do you think it's, you know, I'm not blowing my own trumpet, but what do you guys think? Do you think it's all right? Do you think it's something that could be made into a set? Do you think I'll, do you think I'll get the 10,000? I think I'll get 1,000. I don't know. I'll be happy with 1,000 anyway. I say it's my first proper attempt at doing something like that, and it'd be interesting to see see how it does. But I think uh, speaking of McDonald's, they started a Travis Scott meal. I don't know what that is. <laughs> what what is your yeah? Come on, guys, put in the comments what your normal orders are um, at McDonald's. Mine is. It depends how I feel, but most of the time it's either a big tasty if there's a big tasty with bacon, it's got that bacon in it, Big Mac, or or I will go for is that is that a new piece? I don't think I've ever seen a curve that way. That's strange. Um yeah, I usually go for that or a but chicken sandwich meal with cheese. <laughs> That's right. I think I know they're going to make it fresh. So I'll, I'll get a load of cheese stuck on it as well. So, yeah, put, what, let me know what you want from McDonald's and I'll go get it. <laughs> get it to you. Yeah, I think you will. Thank you, really. Really appreciate that. I hope it does. I hope, you know, if it don't, it don't. If it does, it does. It's all good fun. It's all learning curve. I'm having fun anyway, so... That is the main thing. But if you if you guys know, I, I do the Lego Ideas um, interviews. I've got one, hopefully I'm going to be doing tomorrow. And if I get one done tomorrow, um, next next week I might interview myself. <laughs> just, to, just to get my Lego Ideas out there. Yeah, I'm sure Travis Scott, wasn't he, from a group? Um, he has a sponsorship with them, so that's a meal that he gets. Ah, oh, fair enough. Uh, Big Tasty is basically like not quarter pound, it's like half pound burger, and it's got bacon, it's just massive basically, it's got big chunks of everything. Fish Towns love a veggie deluxe meal with a large Diet Coke. I didn't know you were a vegetarian, but I suppose it's not really something you ask someone, is it? You go, oh, How are you? Are you a vegetarian? But no, that's cool, mate. I just I love meat. <laughs> I don't know why. It's strange. Uh, right, that's that on there. But I don't know. Is he? Is the daily brick still in here, or has he gone? If you're there, mate, say hello. Right, let's get these on. But can't wait for this to be done. I just really want to do a, a nice review on this. It deserves a good review. This set because it's absolutely amazing. And if Lego are watching, if they want to send me anything else for free to do an interview and build live, I'll do that. That's not a problem. <laughs> That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Ain't going to happen. <laughs> right, so that goes on there. Yeah, these are quite cool, these pieces. I don't know if I've seen these before, these slopes. They're really cool. The way they slot into, into this top bit, that's, that is mad. On there. Right, 
and then these go up here. So you know, they've got a really good technique of putting this corner on. I don't know if I've seen that very often, but I'll just show you quickly. You see that technique there? You've got like the little sort of robot droidy arms that clip into it. So then the next bit clips straight in. So there's no like, it's not a solid attachment, but it's, it's still pretty good. Yeah, do you know, I am starving as well now thinking like that. <laughs> Let's get some food. And that is it. Interviewing Lego Fan UK. I've got, I've got in my head what I want to do. It's going to be quite funny if I can do it. It's probably going to take me absolutely ages to do it. So Britman, you uh, usually have quarter pounder. Yeah, we have double quarter pounders. Man. That's quite nice. We've extra pickles yet. Yeah. Large L and P. What's what is an L and P? I don't know what an L and P is. Might be something you get in New Zealand, but don't get, don't get up here. I was thinking of like, I don't know, I don't know what that is. I don't want to guess because I'll be probably completely miles off. Yeah, this moving hat. <laughs> yeah, the moving hat looks really cool. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there to that build, so it must be nearly there. I don't know what this is meant to be, though. Let's have so much detail in this build. Lettuce and pickle. <laughs> that doesn't have a very nice drink, if, it's, if that's what it is. <laughs> Here's your large lettuce and pickle drink. <laughs> it's going to be something really simple. Yeah, that is, that's pretty much what I think I'm going to do. I think it'd be quite funny as well. I'm going to in, in, interview myself. <laughs> Lemon and what? what is that? P-A-E-R-O-A. P-A-E-R-O-A. I'm, I'm just googling that small town in new zealand um lemon and pro there you go lmp was a sweet soft drink manufactured in new zealand pale light yellow it says lemon and sugary oh okay that's cool you know that's definitely so if i come over your way i'm definitely gonna have to try that that sounds uh sounds quite cool but it's nice and refreshing Random backgrounds, yeah. You see the things that I'm planning in my head. <laughs> Whether it'll work or not, I don't know. I just realised I'm actually just I'm building this face. I just realised what I'm building. Yeah, I've got a few things rattling around in my, in my brain of what I want to do. So it'd be it'd be interesting. Might be quite funny. I like doing random videos. I think they're probably the best you can do. <laughs> Why is that not going in there? <laughs> right, well, that's um, silly design. That's right, cool. So I've just uh, a bit of there is really strange to go on because you've got to push it in, but you can't get it in because there's a rod in the way. But I think that's on. I've got a nose to build. These like buildable characters are really strange. As you know, you put it on there, you don't even see what's behind it, so that's cool. Yeah, it'd be interesting. I'm going to do some funny bit videos, I think. I'm going to have to. Right, there's his little, <laughs> little strange head. Just notice Alexa's doing a countdown. Yes, yeah, she is. <laughs> Alexa, how much time is left on my timer? You have 48 minutes left on your two-hour timer. 48 minutes. <laughs> oh, that's cold. 
Uh, right, you can come and watch me drink coffee as well. <laughs> you know, I don't really like that build. It's not very secure. It's a bit wibbly wobbly. But it goes in. Where's it going? It goes in up there. That's a little head. Right. We are nearly there. It's a bit of shame to see the end of this, but it's it's been cool. It's going to look really good on display. But what I'll do, if I've got time, guys, I'll get it here as well. <laughs> to set up enough. So I'm setting them all off. <laughs> I wonder what you'd do if I said that. Alexa, search for Lego Fan UK. Are you trying to shop for Lego Fan U? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> All right. She thinks I'm trying to do some shopping now. <laughs> I, th I think... Um, I think Bricklick is going to get that set. Definitely, isn't it? Do you know, I don't want to, but I don't, I'm not really sure. Till, till I see what it looks like. I might get it at Christmas. I'm going to have a massive Christmas list this year. And we've got the Home Alone set, but I think that's going to definitely be for next year. Because I can't see it coming out this year. Oh yeah, I was going to play it, so I'll do it, ready? Um, Alexa, play Lego Fan UK. Sorry, I don't know that. No, she doesn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you know that? yeah, so those minifigs are weird, yeah. They're, it's like the Simpsons ones. Um, I quite like the Simpsons ones, though. But you know what will happen next? They'll do, um, they'll do a CMF on them as well. Of the Sesame Street stuff. <laughs> no shopping today. <laughs> we don't have that set up because yeah, it's one of those uh, one of those things that you probably end up. She ends up buying stuff and you don't want it to. And I should set it up because it's on the wife's account. Yeah, so. Bricklick's like, yep, I'm going to get it. I go, Look, that's the the arm mechanism on that wall. I'll tell you what one does. If you've got, have you guys seen the original? I'm going to, what am I doing? I'm breaking it. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> if you've seen the original design on it, have you seen Count, the Count, Count Duck, uh, Dracula, Count, whatever his name is? His one looks pretty cool. That that minifig. Well, I need to reshuffle that. I'll make sure I set that the right way. I think I have. I don't know. Oh, this is a. Uh... I'll tell you some fiddly and awkward stuff on here. There you go. That's his arm thing. Hope that lose it. <laughs> yeah, I think I think some of them they look cool. Um, it'd be very interesting to see to see what the whole set looks like. It's going to be one modular building again, or something similar. It's going to be pretty cool. Right, where am I going? So, yeah, we're doing all right for time, aren't we? Hour and 20 minutes into the stream. Not doing too bad. So this is the hat that I'm building next by the looks of it. More purples or lilacs. So it'll be interesting to see which ones get through. In Is it October that we find out the next... Oh, that's not that goes in there. I think yeah, it's October. I think is the next uh, next Lego ideas like decision. 
that'd be interesting to see what we get with that one delorean uh, not delorean <laughs> the uh the tesla no i don't, I don't think that's going to be made it's a really weird set have you guys seen much about the that lego idea stuff what's coming out next right oh, come out Nice that. This build is going higher and higher. <laughs> that is mad. Okay, isn't it? So this is the only awkward bit. You have to hold that up so you don't go too. Uh, so you don't lose it down the back. The little arm mechanism. Right. So yeah, yes, not yesterday. It was yesterday, wasn't yesterday? Was it when I was building this? Uh, I had a couple of bits missing, and I've managed to find where they are. So I'm happy with that. And one of these pieces, I forgot to put a yellow one or orange one behind there. So every time I do this, that arm mechanism slowly getting covered up. So I don't know how this is going to work. And I've done my usual mistake where I forgot to put something in. Get that in there. That's it, that holds all that in. One of these plates to go on. Oh, I'm breaking it live. <laughs> oh. I'm so heavy handed at times. It's like, it will go on. <laughs> right, let's do that again without breaking it. Yeah, if you want to see something destroyed, then uh, just come watch me do a live stream. <laughs> so heavy handed. You know, the, the best thing about about doing that, the uh, a bit bland and boring, what they should do is they should put a little buildable figure with a baseball. That would be funny. <laughs> and you have to throw it out the window and hope it don't break. So Lego Dad UK, I hope the Home Alone is a big set with lots of... Yeah, it's it's going to be. Um, I don't know if you've seen, I, I interviewed Alex, the designer for that um probably like six weeks ago seven weeks ago i can't remember what it was now it was a while ago uh and he said that he submitted it with three thousand pieces so it was everything he wants is in there hopefully fingers crossed he said that he's speaking to the designers and he doesn't want them to take too much out of it because obviously he wants it to be true to the film so if you haven't seen that just uh when you can if you want just go check out the video because I was having a chat with him about it. He's, he's a really nice guy. He's from the Ukraine, uh, which is where my family originally comes from. And, yeah, it's quite nice. Really nice set. It looks really cool. There's so many details in it. And he's trying to get the old man as a minifig in there, which would be even, even better, because you need to have him in it. So let me get excited. I didn't need to put that in there. <laughs> right, so this is... Where does that go? That's a, that's a really weird way of showing how this roof goes on. It kind of like shows it halfway, and then I think you kind of have to push it into there, I believe. That's where it goes. Ah, I see it. Uh, right. That don't, don't make sense, though, because it looks too low. Oh, I tell you what, that is awkward. So I've got a pin in here, which I need to somehow get this bit of roof in, in and onto that pin. There you go. And then slot it in. There you go. Sweet. Right, that's done. That's part of that roof. That's a bit of pain. Yeah, if you check it, check out on my channel, 
I've got a um, what's call it uh, play a playlist that's got all of uh, my Lego ideas interviews on there. So the guy that's doing Sesame Street, uh, Ivan, I was speaking to him on there about his Lego avatar set that he's doing, which looks. If you haven't seen that, it is amazing. It is so good. You need to check that one out. It's really good. So yeah, just have a have a look on the channel. I've got some random things on there as well. Yeah, we'll say no, and then they'll. Yeah, that's that is the only problem that I find with the Lego ideas is they can say no, and then a year later, two years later, they can make it. There's there's nothing there to say they won't because um, they have disclaimers in there. It basically says once you've submitted it, technically it's their their property, technically, so they could do what they want. Right, I'm building his little hand holding this one. Uh, right, what's brick picker? I think I might go to Tesco to get having like 33 if they Ooh. do you know I haven't got that yet? I need to get that set if it's 33 pounds. That's a good price. Because I'm not paying, is it 50 normally? I'm not paying 50 quid for it. So, yeah, that's another one. That's another one I haven't got. There's a few that I haven't got and a few that I have. Or bought a few of. All right. Walmart apparently has some of the new Star Wars sets. Yeah, see, I heard that. I'm, I'm sure in Canada they've had a few of them on sale. And I don't understand that. It's like they're, they're brand new in and they're sticking them on sale. I'm never lucky enough to find anything. Brickclicker always managed to find loads. <laughs> he's, he's, he's quite lucky at finding stuff. I don't find anything. I only find things like friend sets. <laughs> I don't want friend sets. Unless I can get them for a quid. I'll buy them for the pieces if I get them for that price. I think we've got one friend set. Which the wife got for, um, for her birthday from someone and... Because she likes American diners, she got the American diner one, and it's just a bit like, oh, don't want it. <laughs> so that's in, that's in the loft somewhere. Oh, that's really weird. Don't like that. I can't push it away. In. So I'm trying to put, put this uh, Technic piece on. It doesn't really look as though it's. Oh, I don't know why. I put me in the wrong way. <laughs> it's not good. There you go. Shadow Wolf's back again. Thanks for popping in again. I used, um, if you go on Bricklink, you got Studio or Studio. I use Studio to do that. It's, it's good. It's a really good program. I found it quite easy to use, which is always a good thing, I suppose. But it's, it's very power hungry when you want to render it and stuff like that. So it's, it's quite awkward. But it's, like I say, it's really easy to use. And it's just figuring out how you want to do something. So hello again. I said hello, but I'll put it back on again so we can see you there. Right. So this one I have. That don't make sense. No, it does. <laughs> Need to get a pin. That one. Right, this is where the arm goes on. So that goes into there. That's kind of loose at the moment, so I've got to try and connect that now. Did not tell you how to connect the, the hat. That's really weird. It kind of doesn't tell you how to connect the hat. Unless it's just me not paying attention. You know, that whole thing doesn't look right. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Showing my amateur thing here. Yeah, this, uh, there you go, that's better. Looks really good. I just don't know what this is all about because. It hasn't connected to anything, and I can't see how it connects. There's literally nothing connecting it. It's kind of loose. That goes on there. 
I'd assume it connects right at the end, but I say it's kind of like it's loose. It looks like it should connect to that. Unless you just Yeah, that's just weird. Unless you just pull it up like that and that's it. I don't know. Find out in a minute. But there's, there's no connection to it at all. Right, so I've done that. I've got to now make hopefully it'll be at the end after I make this um thing, whatever it is I'm making here. Like a little punch bowl, sort of that. Really strange. But yeah, oh, that's what I've got left. There's those little bits and then box 21. I've got half an hour before I get kicked off. <laughs> yeah. So that's that. That goes in there. Turn it upside down. We've got loads of little, loads of little heart pieces. Yeah, you've got ANA Hobbies. Corey's in. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Brick faces. If Brick if Lego wanted to be lazy, they could have printed it. Yeah. It could have. Um, it, it looks quite cool, though. I'm saying I'm making this like weird punch bowl or something. I don't know what it is. I need to watch the film again, really, to find out everything that's in here. But yeah, we're doing all right. I was saying, looking forward to it. Corey, you're still looking forward to building the Razor Crest. I know he's been itching to build it. <laughs> and I'm sitting there going, oh, it's going to be built soon. We will, we will get there. Problem is, we're wishing our days away. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I really, I really hope that that does connect somehow because there's nothing. I haven't seen anything about it yet. Which movie is the uh, which one's it? Third or fourth? Yep, yeah, I'm definitely I'm racing against the last bit of time I've got. Can't think which one's diagonally from. Fourth film? Third film? Might be the third. Because the first one. He goes on train. Second one, he goes. Yeah, um, I think. Yeah, second one, he goes by the car. Third one, it could be the third one. I think it might be the third one, but yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. But, yeah, I can't think. <laughs> I might have to Google it. But yeah, it'd be really cool to see what else they're going to add to it. Right, so there's that weird kind of like punch bowl thing. So that's that. But yeah, the the that doesn't connect. So that is that's a bit disappointing, really. So that is literally just there, loose. So you could just kind of go at like that. I don't I don't understand that, guys. That's really strange. Six, six film. Yeah, so I don't really remember which one it's from. Yeah, that's, that's really odd. I'm, I'm a bit disappointed by that. That that doesn't actually connect. The hat. It's really, uh, I'm annoyed with that. <laughs> yeah. First one, he went diagonally to get a wand and stuff. Second, he got books. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking about the when he goes through with the flu power powder. Anyway, yeah, so that, that's the last building done, guys. So what should we do? Should we have a look at the buildings or should we open box 21? What should we do? Put a, put a suggestion up. Let me know what you think. And I just realised I've missed two stickers as well, and I know where they go. And <laughs> I ain't getting to them. That's the legs that are in there. So that doesn't really matter. I'll put them on another day when I can be bothered. Is it a second? See, I can't remember the flu power being the second one. Oh. Yeah, so I open box 20. Let, yeah, let's get this open. I know what's in box 21, but I'm going to open it with everyone so we can have a look and see what we've got. Shows it in, in here. All right, so let's open this. All right, so I'm going to do it the, uh, the horrible way with the, with the thumb bits. I don't like opening that way. Yeah, both of them quick. I'm going to get them both done, yeah, easily. Right, let's open it up. All right, so in here, box 21. So, Silenzo. 
one bag. Oh, two. That is it. So we've got oh look, missing minifig. We've got Hagrid in here. I've got all the minifigs in front of me. So we had 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 being Hagrid. Uh, I'm not out of hours quite yet. I've got another 30 minutes or so, but I'm going to probably pay, pay for the next lot to get this done. Right, there you go. So that's actually a really nice print. I didn't know what that was going to come out like. So you got Welcome Harry to Diagon Alley. There's Hagrid. Oh, his head's moving away. So that is really cool. So this is a little brick built stand which is quite nice but i did see it on a few channels which was a bit annoying i didn't really want to see it until uh until i got to it but yeah it's going to be built last so it has to be built last so we've got a little stand which is quite cool i've got enough time to show you the the complete build as well guys so i will stick it all together I don't want to rush anything. And if you guys know as well, there is a special minifig in here as well. So it goes on there. Nope, oh, I'm breaking it now. <laughs> Do you know, what? I would put these on the wrong way. So what's the Shadow Wolf said on there? I wonder if the Mini Luke Landspeeder will come with the Moss 8. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what they what happens with that. Why am I putting this on the wrong way? It's bag 21. It's probably the easiest thing in the in the book. <laughs> but that is really cool. So that's like quite a simple, simple but effective little stand. And you've got two spaces there for two minifigs. Gonna have a look. I know how to build it because it's not really hard. This is, this is my first Hagrid that I've actually opened. I've got some of the sets, but never really bothered opening all of them yet. Got some to build. It's Chewbacca, it pretty much, isn't it? But these look like almost like the um, the Mario arms. It's got a really cool print on that. I like that. I'll make sure I get the right head on it because you don't put. I've got Harry Potter's head on instead. <laughs> Wrong one. Right, anyway, so we'll pop Hagrid on there. With his little... That's really strange. He, get, he gets little little minifig legs that don't bend. That's quite, that's quite cool. And he gets his little pink umbrella. He broke his arm. How have they done that? Oh, okay, <laughs> totally really weird. So there's Hagrid. That print is really cool on the front. I like that. So I'm gonna pop him on there, and then our special mini fig that we've got is Mr. Potter, and I'm sure it's probably the same. Yeah, it's the exact same head. So basically, it's a bit. It's a bit cheaty. So basically, it's got the same head as the normal Harry Potter fig. Same hair piece. But it's the torso that's different. So I'm going to put his face with the with the dirt on. But he's got quite a nice little print on that torso. So yeah, that's really cool. I'm going to just build it back in. All right, thank you for joining us. And there it is. That is finished. Got all the minifigs. So what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to quickly grab... The other buildings just so i can get them all together stick that in there move my copy copy move my coffee cup out of the way right it's about dropping so let's get these out let's have a quick look see what you guys think tell me what you think your favorite building is out of the lot but diagonally is done <laughs> uh how many how many hours was this <laughs> two two six and a half hour streams plus uh this one which is what about two hours so that's what 13 with about 15 hours building but that 
Oh, if I'll get that one in. That is it. Look at that. Oh, move the right. That is absolute beauty. That is cool. I like this. Size of it. <laughs> and you've got a few little random builds. You've got a little desk. There. And I'm sure there's another loose item in here. So there's chairs at the front. And you get these little cool little chairs that have been built with like teeth, or whatever you want to call them. They're quite cool. But that is awesome. But yeah. I need to say congratulations. I think congratulations to everyone for sticking with me. I've, I've had loads of fun building this. It's been really cool. It's been emotional. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. That is cool. Which one do you like, guys? So my far right. So my right, that one, the Ollivanders. That is really cool. I quite like this one, but it's so fiddly. I like that for what's inside it, but the overall design, I actually quite like. I like florists and blocks, but I think it's because it reminds me of an old an old one. Oh, we've got Ray Mundy in the house. Ray, is your wife watching? Did you tell her about those uh, those masonry ones? <laughs> Britman said he's got to go to bed because it's, uh, it's one o'clock. Before you go, I'm gonna just spin these around. And I'm gonna just stick and like how that don't go to that one, does it? Oh, wait. <laughs> how you can make them into an alley. It's a bit of a thin alleyway, but that is really oh, oh I'm breaking it on it. So if you imagine them all together, you can be able to display them this way. Which actually is really cool. I'm gonna let me scoot all these mini things out. Right? Yeah, if you put them all together like that, get in. <laughs> yeah, stick them all together like that, and you imagine looking down an alleyway. How cool is that? That is awesome. So you've got like a little alleyway. You can stick all your Stick all your minifigs in there. Hey, you know, just play like that. If I could like that, would be absolutely awesome. But it's not going to go on like that. But there you go, guys. So that has been one epic build. <laughs> been absolutely mad. Lots of time. Looks really cool. Weighs an absolute ton. And Ray Money said that his wife's at work. So let's have a look at this one quick. So this is the one we just finished, the joke shop, and the amount of detail in there is <laughs> that's just absolutely unreal. There's so much detail in there. That's like the only thing I'm really disappointed about is the hat. But to do the hat, you have to kind of just try and grab that out and just move it up and down with your fingers. It's, I don't know. It's a bit lazy, but there you go. So that's inside that one. Inside of bookshop and the ice cream parlor that's really cool so so many really really nice little details in there the olivanders the one place these one pieces feels like i've done it ages ago that is really cool opens up i'm going to show you the last building before before we say goodbye so many buildings in here <laughs> So the last building is the Quidditch. Quidditch and the Daily Profit. There's not a lot to the Daily Profit. But yeah, that's been really good. Cool. So Lego Dad, thank you for thank you for popping along. Lego Dad UK, really appreciate your subscription as well. So many minifigs here. It's been yeah. It's absolutely amazing. Definitely worth the money. I say you got all these. Mini figs. I've got to show you the mini figs quickly. But keep keep an eye out, guys, for my review video on this because obviously I'm going to have to do a really good in depth review, give it a bit of justice. Definitely, if I spent 20 hours on it, yeah, it's got to be good. <laughs> right. Well, thank you guys for coming on. I will get the shelf up. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. Not quite sure, but. There, it's all made. Thank you for watching. It's been 
Yeah, it's been good. Really good. So keep an eye out for the review. Let's get checked tomorrow on a, a Hobbies channel. We are going to be live stream building half seven GMT 2.30 Eastern time. We'll be building the Razor Crest. So come over that. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Take care. Thank you, Elaine, for the pop along. Um, Kai's Monkey, Cabbage Face, a and Ray Mundy's popped in, Lego Dad UK, Brick Clickers, I think he's been here as well, all the way through. Uh, who else? Uh, Brickman's been on. Just build it. Uh, Shadow Wolf was in. And Cat Bio. And there's probably a couple others as well. But thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you again soon. Bye bye. If it ends. <laughs> right. See you later, guys.